Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 63 of our Ethiopian Union campaign in Supreme Lure 2020. Uh, right now we have quite a bit going on after we took Cape Town in the last episode. We're now building up our supply to these guys, trying to take this bridge here while these guys have already taken the northern bridge. Their job will be to head to Kimberley next, while these guys down here in the south have been pushing along the coast. Uh, primarily their job has been to just uh, slowly work their way up and uh, take all the little pieces here. Quite a bit to go, so I'm going to keep it rolling, keep it moving. Um, we're going straight to Grahamstown. Let's go take it. I don't think we'll have any problems with supply. If there's nobody waiting on us there, so that should fill in pretty nicely. We do have some units helping out through here behind us. They're just doing a good job, you know, pulling in the supply routes behind us. Let's see, how's supply here, though? There's 2%. Not not a lot. I really want enough build-up to take on uh, Kimberly. Well, these guys, I want them to push up here and take uh, Blomenfontein as well. That'll secure the entire southern part along as long as we've got this little line of East London, Vedant um, Seine, and uh, Bisho here as well. And Queenstown won't do too much for that, but it will take away supply. All right, looking good, guys. Um, see, supply kind of just stops here at the river really well. Doesn't push forward too much. Very unfortunate on that end. This guy, though, can continue. Might be a good idea to kind of swing some of these guys south, though. Take uh, this this hydropower and waterworks site. Let's see, electric power. We're not making near as, near as much as we should. Consumer is way below what we need. But unemployment's at 3.5% and inflation's at 8.9%. So, do to do. Let's grab these guys. I need you back here, protecting that side. I had no clue I drew you off of it. Uh, let's bring these guys this way. We're gonna try for that. I let this guy push up. Still letting the supply reach up behind these guys. Just being a little bit more responsible with that. Go ahead and take that spot. That should fill in behind us. Looks like we are having a hard time with supply now. Uh, that's all right. We'll have to just deal with it. That guy is now taking that bridge. So again, this area is now a little bit more secure. The entire southwestern quadrant is probably the a quarter of the country is now ours. Still have 47 million people, almost 48 million people though in their country. So most of it's around Pretoria and along the and along the coast and the uh, up in here. Let's say Durban is what? How many people? Yeah, almost 2.5 million. Oh, there they go, right here. There looks like there's some supply building up on the river though. Pretty good amount of supply actually. Let's keep these guys moving. They're almost within range here of Bisho. Go ahead and get just a little bit of supply in there and it'll hold for us when the uh, next turn piece po uh, passes over. That's at 16%. Go ahead and move these guys down here. There we go. Take that town, or take that facility, I should say. And we're going to move these guys up north. Follow along this. Take Kimberly. From Kimberly, we're going to hold there, wait for our barracks. Then we're going to come over here to Blomenfontein and grab that. Let's grab this over here and run. Be show. 
There we go. Only three guys. They don't last long. We have a pretty impressive little force built up to deal with uh, these threats in these towns. A lot of people ask me, how is it that I can just roll forward on these garrisons like this? Um, there, I've developed a technique. Again, I've been playing this game for seven years. Yeah, seven years now. Um, and the entire technique is just roll up on the town you want to take. Get close enough. Get this, let the supply build in. Then come in with an, and then just entrench on the outside. There's no need to do anything else. You'd be very surprised what you can do with a good with a good entrench <laughs> instead of just trying to take a town outright. Now, mind you, it took me a long time to figure that out, though. Probably took me a lot longer than it should have taken. Like, see this one right here? I'll be able to move here, attack the town, then rush in and take it. See, so letting the supply, letting the entrench, all that matters. Entrench, I mean, pretty much what you're doing is you're making them come out to fight on the assault while you're on the defense. See this? They're coming out. They're not going to be able to push on me. But I'm fighting on the defense. I'm not trying to push into them. And that just makes my units a heck of a lot safer during these assaults. Let's see, can I do it over here? Yeah, I'll be able to actually move here into the town and do it. And this will be really rare right here, actually having a town next to another one that you're going to have to go in. I get an even bigger city defense discount for doing or you know bump to myself now for defense because now I'm doing it from inside a city and cities are notorious for being difficult to break into let's go here entrench bring this guy up here there we go there is East London taken should have called it South London, if you ask me. A little too far to the south for it to be east, in my opinion. Matter of fact, let's look. London is here, so I guess technically it is east. It's East London, because following that line there, and here's London over here. But still, I mean, it's more south than it is east, obviously. It's rather small too. To be called East London, it's kind of small. Kind of like the uh, one in Canada. I believe there's one in Canada, a place called London. Yeah, I think so. I'll go find it. In American held Canada, I'll go find London. <laughs> there we go. Grab that spot. Uh, let's go look for it real quick. It's over here, like in here, I believe. Woodstock. Yep, there it is, London. Yep, that's London, Canada. Well, United States in this playthrough, but still. The U.S. just took over Canada, and that's it. Normally they take over Mexico, too. Well, that's odd. Um, Brazil's at war with Argentina, and they're to their original lines. Um, also at war with France, which he'll probably get this area when that gets beaten. We already know what Africa looks like, because I've taken it. Europe is a mess. A bloated Austria looking. Well, it's kind of bloated and it's kind of not. Um, Czech Republic is bloated. Poland is just a little bit further west than normal. Belarus is a. Yeah, and Slovakia are going at it along with Lithuania. Russia is at war with China. That would be interesting to see. Let's go look at that war. Oh, he hasn't really pushed. Come on, Putin, you need to push. And then, uh, South Korea has really done pretty good against China. I mean, how many people does he have? Or in four uh, million. India has pushed in as well. Still not as many people as, he, as China does, but if he could break through somewhere, like, uh... There you go. If he'd follow that road up and across, he'd eventually make it over into this territory and he could take a, quite a few people. Everything else, though, is pretty much the same. There's some very few differences in the Middle East. 
that's about it. Africa is the big change, and that's because of us. So we're not really worried about the rest of the world. There we go. Oh, I completely forgot about Kimberly. Let's push on in and grab it. There you go. Hold the town. Wait for a couple guys to get there. Um, in the meantime, we're going to get some supply getting closer to Blomenfontein. Come on up the road, buddy. There you go. And boom, right there. Didn't really do it. It's okay. We can kind of push across over here and maybe cut off supply. Well, I mean, <laughs> then you get some times that you're like this. You know, to be honest, you can get this quite a bit where you're kind of stuck. You'll just have to rush in with your units and hope for the best. Um, these units can push up to here. Um, I, I'm wondering, I don't know about Umtada. I'm going to approach it very cautiously. It might have a garrison in it. It might not. It's at 81,000. So normally I'm used to about 80,000 having it. But I've seen some at 82 that don't have it. Some at 85 that do. Some at 80 that do. It's just really weird. Yep, they, these guys have it. It's all right. We don't have the supply backing us up, but we'll be fine. Come on, guys. Run through. There goes that garrison there. This is starting to fall out a little bit, looks like. Push on in. Take it. There we go. Nice little spot along the road taken now. Let's bring these guys on down because we actually have a... Uh, garrison building up here in Kimberly already. I'm going to take them right here. They're cut right through there. I have two sides to this supply corridor. Alright. Supply coming right on through the top here. Guess we need to go ahead and push up the road. Looks like somehow we took some more land than we normally would, so we're going to go for it. Supply is, does not have fill-in behind us. Let's push up to here. Let's move to here. Move to there. Um... The top I'm a little worried about. I might put some units just to kind of cross in here. Okay, uh, let's put this Abrams up here. Uh, this guy can move up to here. We're going to try to get right here with him and that should close off most of the supply coming in that way. And hopefully the supply won't close us off. And right there. This definitely will like close off on its own, I believe. At least it should. If it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of ticked. A little bit more then. Don't need to let that close off. That should be how it gets done. There you go. I think we'll be alright. This area should come off. Looks like this area is starting to diminish. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and push these guys in here. And then we'll entrench right there. Wait for the... Let the supply can still drag in here. Um, yeah, supply is 10% as I hit it. So that's not bad. Uh, come on. Knock out these garrisons. We did lose two units to this assault. At least. Might be one or two more following its footsteps. Move there. Trench and hold. There we go. We'll wait it out just a, just a second. 
Uh, stuff through here it looks like it's starting to run out of supply now. Uh, that one's gonna be fine to take. That one won't. That one will. So these areas up here are not so bad. They'll be tough. This one will too. But we need to get some of these guys out of the funk that they're in out here. Trying to push in and hold the supply, you know, hold our positions out here. And that's what these guys are going to be there for. It's like supply is starting to make its way through here, which is what I wanted to do. Yeah, 12%. Research breakthrough of the nuclear power plants now done. We can now build nuclear power plants wherever we want them. Uh, we just need the employment to do it. It's still a little too low for that. Modern pharmaceuticals, healthcare rating up to plus 5%. Advanced ballistic missiles, 104 days. Nuclear weapons, 149. Then we open up some more nuclear weapon production. Uh, let's see, anything else? No, it seems like it's all pretty much, you know, you got to go linear to get through here. You got to get through one to get to the other. We are 50% through 80, uh, tech level 84, though. Which is very nice. Uh, let's push up here. Maybe we can grab that. Really want this area to dissipate. How is supply here? Uh, supply is making it pretty good, actually. 20%. Right here, it's 20%. 8% there. We need a little bit here. 5%. Okay. Let's send this guy down here. Uh, what is this guy at? He's in a 12% zone. I think he'll be just fine. Let's go ahead and push him down here. He's at 5% where he's at now, so we'll wait it out. Looks like this is giving, you know, getting rid of some areas though. He just connected up there. Uh, let's take these guys. You're gonna work your way over here with me. You're going to go here next. Uh, Emma Bafto. Wish I could take Clerkstorp in some of this area too, just to finish it out. You know, give ourselves a little bit more defense on the supply line here, but I'm not going to do it. Best of intentions and all that, I just don't want to do it though. Oh, it's going to take us a minute to move across this bridge. Everybody move like this. There you go. See that? Look, so much easier. Okay, now let's move here. Let's get all the way up to the crossroad here. There you go, looking good. Still waiting on a garrison here, but this guy's garrisoned up one. How's this area look now? 6%. I think we're fine to start pushing a little bit further. Now he does have artillery around him. I mean, he does only have like a one, you know, facility type deal going on there. Okay, we're going to use supply and garrisons to our you know, own advantage here. We're going to cut off the supply here on this line. There it goes here. A little bit more. And right there. Boom. I think we're fine. You let supply reach this point. Supply should cut off through here. How's this going? It's at... 18%. We are going to come under the gun. Might as well go ahead and get prepared for it. Probably going to happen here. A lot of these are hurt units, though. They haven't started yet.
Let's see here. Uh, this is at 0%. Darn it. Move quicker. I need that supply. Let's see. This guy's got an airfield, though. So that could help with supply and stuff like that around us. Um, how many airborne units do we have? We have quite a few units around there. Airborne and Rangers equate to 13 units. Try bringing these airborne units back to sit it out for a little bit longer. Let's see this. This is sitting at 1%. So it's getting there. This is going to fill in real nice. Actually, look how dark that gray is. It's going to fill out really well. Kind of like how this is so dark. The darker the gray, the better our supply. Let's get this here. Uh, let's go north of it. Let's forget this little town. I'll oh, screw it. We're going to have to go through it anyway. Go for it. Lots of engineers. Garrisons, engineers. All kinds of crap. We're just going to have to deal with it. Yep, units getting pushed back. It's okay. When this gets done here, I'll have so many units to push on that group. I won't even be really worried about it. I could save him for after Pretoria, because I can come in to Pretoria from the north anyway, on this side. Continue, continue. This area should fall. He shouldn't be able to push back across. Hold here. Watch this. It's already falling already. Hopefully I can get this group to fall. I want that to fall so I get a clear shot. Uh, yeah, this area is starting to go down now. They did a good job, I believe. I can't tell 100% because I can't see it. So many engineers and all that. But they're going to start putting these units to work. Which could be a good thing for us. Because that means that these guys are going to have to... We're going to have to send some emergency forces down there to come handle it. This area to the north, we're looking at 4%. This got taken up. They're, well, they're pushing something across, actually. Oh, that engineer is destroyed. I think we're, they're going to have plenty of units to kind of play with that, though. Umtada was not done yet. East London was. Imdantsane was. Bisho was. Queenstown, we weren't expecting it. I think we'll be okay. All these units just want to head up here. Once they get there, they'll determine where they'll go. Um, this area is fine. It'll handle itself before long as well. The big key here is to grab Labatse. Grab it. You're pretty much on the, you know, area around uh, Botswana that you want to be around. Because the capital and everything's here. Take that out. You get the rest of this. You'll be great. 10%, 7%, pull these guys up, they can do a little double duty and knock out a couple units at once. Push forward, go ahead and push forward to here. Get rid of this uh, Labatse airfield and the uh, barracks there. Oh yeah, funnel your troops down here, that's fine. They'll let me get right. They'll let me take care of them earlier. Just don't take that. Darn it. No choice. Got to go forward. We need reinforcements. Got to go forward. Have no choice. Looks like we're running out of supply.
Oh, we're just a little bit too far. Well, dang. That's alright, we need to regroup. Everybody here needs to look towards repair. Last second grab of the uh, barracks and airfield here. Hoping for the, you know, hoping for the best. Get some quick uh, supply in there and they can hold out for a little while longer. Come on, get in there. Their tanks are going to eat us up. Come on, men, get in there. Just hold out. Supply is at zero percent. Despite the airfield, and the city, and the barracks, <laughs> we are at zero percent. Okay, there we go. Seven percent, so it's a little bit better. I just entrench. Hold on the town. Reinforcements. Everybody help each other and we'll defend it. It's pretty simple. Easy concept here. These guys down here are just letting themselves get taken. That garrison's holding out okay, uh, not amazing. He's gonna work his way back over here, maybe he'll come take that on. They had so many engineers here. And still do. How many units are, or how much is here? 2%. Take it for, take it for what you got. Come on, man. Everybody's hurt. I can't just tell them all to go in there and repair. That's another problem. Let's look here. Um, airfield's at 92%. Barracks is still at two days. Come on, back it up in there. There you go. Getting a few more in. Three, four, five. Oh, I can't do it anyway. Never mind. I was going to try to send some men in there. We need reinforcements. Uh, quit trying to run out. That's what's going to get some of these guys killed because they're not listening to me either. Come on. 14% in that re that zone and you're not listening. Okay, yeah, you're next. Pull in. I mean, once we get this barracks done, get the airfield going, I'll push out a little bit. You can see the population zones, that's what I was looking at. See how much population was around it, and there's like absolutely nothing. Yeah, that Puma's done. Okay. Well, I mean, we did a pretty good job, I think. I mean, I know they've kind of pushed back. Oh, they took Kimberly from us. They're about to take Bloemenfontein as well, but I mean, we did pretty good. We took Cape, we have Cape Town, we have most of the southern, uh, you know, coastline. A couple of the big towns in the south, they have a, they had a bunch of men around Durban. We weren't ready for it. And I'm going to look here, they don't have really all that many men around Pretoria. So, I mean, once we take out most of those guys that came out, should be in good shape. 
Uh, come on. Close to getting that day. This. I'm going to send these guys straight into that barracks the second I get a chance. We need reinforcements. There we go. Uh, repair. There we go. Good. Okay. Let that build up some supply. Let these guys build, get a little bit of rest. There's actually a barrack. You know, there's a garrison coming in. We'll use that. We'll take this little spot here. Kanye. Hey, we'll take Kanye. And then uh, we'll use that to start bleeding them dry up here. And then we'll take this town as well. Kind of get back on the initiative again. Looks like a lot of our units are coming back anyway. So we should be good. But all right, guys. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time.